kind of deal. Right, so the, the good thing with um, this code to here. Ah, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the channel. Okay, when you're hovering, you're basically turning the Harrier into a helicopter. Instead of a rotor, you've got thrust. Right? So if you think about the witch's hat, is the nose of the aircraft and the vertical speed. Uh, the, vo the Yeah, this indicator, I can't remember the freaking name now. So your witch's hat is your forward and back. Okay, as far as speed goes, and this is your up and down, you know. So this is your horizontal, this is your vertical. So like in a helicopter, you push the nose down, you're going to go forward. If you pull it back, you're going to go backwards. So that's that's how you keep your speed under control. And if you watch this, when you put the thrust in or out, it'll go up, meaning when it's off this line, you're climbing or descending. So you go from aircraft mode into helicopter mode. So essentially, let's put this... Uh, Putting that up also gives you a few extra percent on the RPM. You want around 82 or 83 percent nozzle for your hover stop uh, for vertical, and you want to have your flaps down to full. So we turn off the nose wheel steering. Okay, it's just a case of push. Let's get into the air. If you watch that speed, that indicator, it starts going up. There it's see look when I move the throttle it's moving. So I can control that with that. So I know that when I'm in a certain position I'm not going up anymore. And then left and right is obviously you're gonna go side slipping use a reference on the ground like there to see if you're going forwards or back or not so you've got to try and keep that power adjusted and so you're hovering and the idea is you use your reference on the ground as well as keeping it on the HUD and just keep scanning to try and get that to hover so like you would a helicopter and once you put your brakes on you can just see your rate of descent pull up, pull up. looking at the ground object power, power. Pull just up, ignore pull what up. she's saying pull up, pull up. so you can get a nice gradual descent down power, power. And just check pull your up, um, where you're going and then power, knock off the power. power as soon as you're down. Yeah, basically 82, 83. If you look at 82, it's there. It doesn't need to be straight down, but 82, 83 seems to be the best setting for hovering. I uh, always find 82 the best, but some people like 83. Pretty close. But you can still, you know, get some good control going with it. You just see it's quite stable with 82 or 83, and you're just making sh looking if you're drifting a bit, you're just making some tiny adjustments just to keep it in line with where you are. So you put the nose down a bit if you, but it's that kind of degree of control. If you look at the ground, it's moving very slowly now. And you're finding that sweet spot with the uh, nose, just to keep that speed under control. OK, 
how do you mean? Yeah, so you go... We a transition, yeah. So if you put the nozzle up, and we do it both ways, push the nose down, take some of your nozzle out. Pull up, pull up. Power, power. You know, you're going to climb. Keep that up. Watch your speed. Get the flaps up. Get the gear up. Take more nozzle out. Out, out. And you're away. Check gear. Check gear. Pull up. Pull up. Should be up. Power. Power. We treat the um, runway Caution. like the carrier. Caution. 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 And there's a few Caution. things to know about the carrier. Caution. Caution. Alright, let's slow ourselves Caution. down. So for the carrier, you want to be Caution. at a certain height Caution. and a certain speed. Caution. Right, so if we Caution. use say that that part of the runway is the carrier, Caution. Caution. we go out here, we do a brake. And it'd be easier Caution. for me to um, get it into my head, Caution. like Caution. based on a case one. Caution. Caution. So you want to be about eight hundred feet. Caution. 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 Right, we speed up to three fifty knots. Caution. 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 Get the nose Caution. coming round. Right, so say that's the carrier, the runway, right? The beginning of the runway. Roll out, roll out. Caution, caution. Pull up, pull up. So you're roughly at 800, 350 knots, something like that. Or even a bit faster, whatever you want to do. But just imagine that's kind of 700, you're on speed. Right, you're going past the carrier. You're looking Caution. down to Caution. make sure that the, the carrier is clear. Extend, Caution. maybe Caution. five, ten seconds. Caution. Caution. Down past the carrier. Caution. Caution. Right. We then want to brake. Caution. Caution. Take the power off. Caution. Get the speed down. Caution. Right, we're going to put Caution. the wheels down. We're going to take the nozzle to fifty. For our downwind. Right, so we're at 167 knots. We're downwind the carrier, the carrier's just there. We're going to go down to about 600 feet. Flaps down now. Get that speed coming back. Looking at. So you're starting to get set up way before you get anywhere near it. And you're slowing down all the time, transitioning down to the hover. We're putting a turn and we're looking for a descent. 60 nozzle. And you're looking for a descent down to. 400 feet initially. See the speed keeps coming down. Let's keep an eye on where the carrier is. Right, so you're now getting close to carrier. Then we're going to continue our descent down to 120 feet. You can pull the nose to up now and control with the uh, throttle for your descent. As you get close to the carrier you go into hover stop if I can get the right setting. Alright say 83. Alright you continue down and you're using your pitch to get that on a certain part of the carrier and we're looking for 120 feet there's 120 right so you're part of the carrier, you're stopping, you're slowing we 
it might be a bit wobbly but don't worry about it but that's roughly it then slide across right, so use your rudder so when you're in line roughly I'm making a hash of this a bit but when you're in uh, in line with the carrier roughly in the middle you can then come straight down about that sort of rate put your toes on your wheels your brakes on and you come straight off with the power and up you go with the nozzle but that's essentially the transition from moving to slowing down slowing down watching your um, height getting in line and then landing so you're using the pitch for forward and back to speed and your throttle for your uh, altitude so that's kind of how that's done yeah no problem at all good luck there's quite a lot of things going on but you start can't Get you after a while you start getting into that rhythm of you know watching your altitude your speed your positioning your throttle and your stick and you get it into your head I think I'm a helicopter I'm a helicopter and you know sooner or later it all comes together so uh, yeah good luck with it I hope you get on well but yeah that's how we do that Right, let's load up old uh, pain in the arse mission editor.